I want to give you three pieces of career advice that I think can really make a, a, a difference to your career pathway, your career trajectory, and receiving uh, you know great opportunities in your life and career. First piece of advice is put effort into your personal brand. Too many executives I meet don't take the time to maintain a quality LinkedIn profile. They've got an old resume sitting around somewhere. Uh, they don't keep it up to date. They've not put any effort into it. And if you actually Google the, them as an individual, you don't find out very much about them. They've got no profile, no thought leadership, no presence in the market. If you're a senior business executive, it's absolutely imperative that you do put effort and maintain a quality corporate presence and you need to embrace tools like LinkedIn and ensure you have that material presenting you in the very best possible light. So make an investment. It's worth it. It pays dividends. It will help you solicit um, you know, inquiries for your services and it will help you attract uh, headhunters, uh, future employers, business associates, colleagues. It could help you in your job uh, in a whole raft of different ways by having a quality profile. Second piece of advice is to always have a clear roadmap, a clear plan of where you're headed. Uh, too many executives these days just don't have that clear clarity on where they want to go, what they want to do, what would be the best use of their skills and talents. And hence, they fall into other people's plans because their plan is not clearly defined. And when an opportunity comes their way, they don't really recognize whether it's a good or a bad opportunity. They can't even make really informed decisions about education and professional development because the roadmap is not there in place as to what you're trying to achieve in three or five years time. Now these plans can always evolve but you've got to have a starting point and you know these things really should be committed to paper. So second piece of advice is have a clear plan uh, for your future and you know really put work and time and effort into looking at that plan what are the strategies you need to employ to make that sort of a reality and then the final piece of advice is to invest in business networking a lot of people don't like to network it doesn't come naturally to some but it is a crucial element to fast tracking corporate careers uh, if you want to secure board appointments, it's mandatory that you become a consummate business networker. You will need networks to uh, open doors, get connected, find out about new opportunities, be able to call on people, ask for a favor from time to time, ask for advice. Your network is the most important thing to have and to nurture and you need to be systematic about it. You have to have some systems and some tools and processes for managing, particularly if, as you go through life, a large business network so that you are cultivating that network and you're keeping in touch with the right people, touching base with them. So you may need to really think about that strategy going forward and also you know, what type of events you want to attend, where you want to be, who you want to be connecting to and have an overarching strategy where that's concerned. So they're the three key things that I highly recommend you put an investment into. So number one, having really good personal branding. Number two, having really good uh, emphasis on you know your roadmap, your career plan, uh, your ambitions, your focus for the future. And then finally, putting an investment into your business networks, cultivating meaningful quality relationships that can be called upon uh, for a whole range of different uh, matters. So they're the three key pieces of advice that I believe can make a real difference to your corporate career.